In this video, we're going to break down key concept on open guard retention. Enjoy. The first and most important concept to have a good guard control is to keep your opponent in between your legs. If your opponent is moving side to side, follow him keeping your chest in front of his chest. If your opponent manages to pass your shoulder line, you want to do a reverse rim to re-guard. By reverse shrimping, you're scooting backwards to readjust yourself in front of your opponent. Same concept apply when you have the collar grip. By having the collar grip, you can manage the distance. And if your opponent is moving side to side, you can always reverse shrimp and re-guard. It's important to note that I don't want to hang too much on the collar grip to avoid the flying armbar. We can apply this concept even if your opponent manages to get both grips on your pen. Get a sleeve grip and move into the same direction your opponent is moving to square back with him. Next we're going to go over a regular open guard. Whenever our opponent is initiating a guard pass, the first thing that we want to do is having a good frame. In this case, my opponent is trying to do a Torianda pass getting into the side. I start by blocking one shoulder with my hand and another shoulder with my leg lasso. This way I prevent my opponent from closing the distance and getting into side control. After getting my frames on my opponent, the next thing I want to do, as mentioned before, is to square up with him. I can do that by bridging with my hips and getting two grips on my opponent to control the guard. In the next scenario is more of a late retention, where my opponent is already dragging my leg and crossing my knee line. Again I start by framing my opponent's shoulders with my hand and my leg. But now I'm going to use the momentum created by my opponent pushing into me into rolling on my shoulders and then scoring up with my opponent. Roll from one shoulder to the other and open your leg wide to get your opponent in between your guard. And again, get two grips on your opponent to stop him from moving. This next scenario is what I like to call the late escape or the 50-50 bailout. In this case, my opponent was able to pass my knees and get into a neon belly position making my frames ineffective. I'm going to use the pressure from the neon belly to invert inwards to end up in the 50-50 position. Get your knee behind your opponent's thigh and underhook the far leg. Spin under your opponent and end up in the 50-50. The 50-50 is a great option to slow your opponent down, especially if you're having a hard time controlling your opponent when he's trying to pass. So let me know, are you having a hard time controlling your guard? Let me know in the comments below if these drills are helping you. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for more Jiu Jitsu content.